be like John Bonham. I know. I know. Um, but yeah, so what I will do is I will start with the symbols. So we've got hi hats. These are 15 inch Dream Energy Series. Did I say 15 inch? Yeah, I think I did. Um, Dream Energy Series um, and they're good I like the 15 inch because it's just a bit bigger I like my hi-hats to be pretty close to my snare like not too much of a gap between well in fact no gap between this like that kind of thing if you know what I mean um, and yeah they sound really good they're crispy they're bright but not too bright and not too crispy Moving on, we've got the Dream Bliss Crash Ride. It's a bit moldy here, this so one's actually quite old. So a lot of that stuff is actually Stu's spit when he spits on my cymbals. Cause um, let's face it, he's disgusting. Um, yep. Always spits on my cymbals. But anyway, not to worry, I should get some more. I've actually got some more coming soon actually. Um, but this is uh, Bliss. 22 Crash Ride, this one is. Um, it's kind of, well my one over here, oh, whoops. My one over here is um, actually a bit heavier. This one's heavier, but this one over here, um, not as heavy. Light, a bit lighter, but not too light. Um, it's good to crash, let's just say that. And it's good to ride if you want a washy ride sound. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that crash. Over here, um, the Dream Energy Crash Ride. Um, this is also 22 inch. All my symbols are 22 inch because I like I like them big. Um, so yeah, this one uh, is my favourite to use as my I guess right hand ride crash because uh, it has a really good bell. Um, I do a lot of belling belling stuff, bell ending. Um, type things with, with the bell that I like to do uh, with the bell sort of like you know yeah that kind of stuff um, but yeah that's a good one 
you know, I also crash ride that all the time, like in like heavy songs. <laughs> Yeah, so a bit heavier than the, than this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're both the same size. Different, different thickness. Um, yeah, uh, and then. Um, uh, no, this fella over here. This chap over here. This chap over here. We've got uh, the Dream Bliss also, but this is paper thin. Have a look at it. Ben, oh. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. bugger. So that's, this one basically is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's paper thin. Um, all right. Um, let's go to the drums. So if you would like to swing around here, thanks Ambrose. Um, so we'll start with the kick drums. Mm. Two 20 inch, 20 by um, twenty by 14 kick drums. Mm. I use a 20 because, I don't know, they're smaller. I like to have my rack tom sitting a bit smaller as well. Uh, I'm sorry, a bit lower. So having the having the 20 inch kick drums is good for that. Also, they're just really punchy and they can sound massive as well. You know, just because they're 20s doesn't mean they can't be massive, you know? Um, so yeah, 20 by 14 kick drums. I have two of them, um, which is cool. actually pretty weird it looks a bit messy but this is just how I have it so because I like to have my hi-hats real sort of like sort of close to my snare I have to overlap this little bar thing here and it looks annoying but it actually works out really well you know a lot of people sort of have their second kick drum like there which makes sense but for me I put my foot over there so it's a bit tricky when you're switching between, but mm. I like it because I like my hi-hats to be really stable and my kick drum to be really stable, so just kind of have to cut your losses and then, yeah, so it kind of sticks out a bit there and it gets a bit annoying, but that's just how I, that's just how I do it. So, yeah. next snare this is a Ludwig Acrylite aluminium um, it's really really light extremely versatile um, it is I think a 73 70 to 76 model hmm. ah sorry yeah yeah 73 76 could also be 74 I'm not sure but it's somewhere from 73, 76 model. Anyway, it's from the 70s, which is quite, which is quite cool. It's quite cool, I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, yeah, that's it. Got a couple of moon gels. Sometimes I use the moon gels, sometimes I don't. It has a dampener on the inside, um, which is cool. That's what they did in the 70s, I guess. Um, but yeah, these just take off just a little tiny bit of that ring. Um, yeah, uh, the rack top is, um, yeah, like I just got these drums and um, CNC put these uh, dotted heads on, which are really sick, 70s looking. Um, I don't really know what they do for the sound, but they sound cool. Um, I've got them tuned up real high. So, um... When you, play, mm. when you play them soft, you get a really... Yeah, you get... 
You get kind of like, you get a sweet little note there. But then when you hit them hard. Still getting used to them because they're new, but I've, yeah, I've tuned them high and it's really fun. Um, moving on, got the Roto Toms here. Um, these are sick. These also are really new. I've always wanted some of these. Um, they're sweet. I did have them tuned, but. I think with like, you know, when we start playing live, they'll just be kind of like, I don't know. I'm not going to be tuning them mid set. Obviously that's just annoying. Some people do it and it's cool, but I don't know. I just think they sound cool. Like no matter how they're tuned or pitched, should I say. Um... <laughs> Electronics. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What have I become? Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, I've just loaded on some of my percussion samples. Um, over this side, you've got all your low percussion sounds your low djembe, your low conga, um, your low um, something. Uh -huh. You know. All that stuff. Um, and over here, on the left-hand side, is the high conga, high djembe, high bongo, mm. all that. So, um, I yeah, so hear it. I low, hear it. Up, low, high, so. So, that's the low djembe. This is the high djembe. Um, what else we got here? We've got, oh, it's a little clave. Mm. Um, what's next? Uh, I think we've got here some uh, chimes. Mm. Beautiful. It sounds pretty crap through that amp. That's actually Cookie Dog's amp. Um, <laughs> I don't think he likes to use it. Yeah, he's not um, keen. He might get a bit, might get a bit angry, but that's okay. That's okay. What else we got here? It's the way the cookie crumbled. Um. Oh! Oh! I know that sound. You know that sound, don't you? Oh. What's that called? Look out! It's being replaced. That's a vibra slap. <laughs> it's quite cool. Rattle. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, and then we've got the classic cowbell. Mm. Nice. So that's fun. Um, got the Dabuka here. snare. Mm. Sounds pretty crap through the amp once again. Got the 808 hats. Nice, nice. Um, oh. And you got your classic, classic clap. Yeah. And all that kind of 
funky choir yeah. kind of stuff, but I don't know. Okay. I'm sort of just playing around with them. I'm gonna load on some more things. Um, Stu wants me to load on some fart noises. I don't know why. Mm, that always so probably, comes in handy. Yeah, I don't know. He's got a thing for farts. So I probably won't be doing that. Um, but yeah, just for my congas and things. my drums and <laughs> it's cool it's cool I like to play yeah you're um, cool man yeah I like to play see you all later <laughs>